Some disturbing new facts have come out about the Holocaust. Researchers from the United States Holocaust Memorial Museum have concluded that the Nazis had over 42,500 camps and ghettos during Hitler's reign of terror between 1933 and 1945, a number far higher than previous historical estimates. Between 15 and 20 million people, people were, were killed and or imprisoned in Nazi camps throughout the Holocaust. Well, about um, 14 or 15 years ago, our bosses got together and decided we had to do uh, a very important uh, project that no one had done before, that is to count and catalogue and describe as many of the camps in Nazi-occupied um, Europe as we could. And this was obviously always going to be a very large project, and therefore it took us 10 years to publish the first volume. Um, but it really could only be done once, and we wanted to make sure that we did it right. How were the Nazis able to manage and maintain so many camps, a lot more than we even realized? Well, it was a very decentralized system. Uh, there was no one bureaucracy that controlled all the camps. Uh, we're covering every different kind of camp that you can imagine and, and probably many that most people can't. Um, and so the military had its own camps. Different branches of the SS had their own camps. The justice ministry had its own camps. Uh, the ghettos were really a local sort of ad hoc affair in a sense. There was no central bureaucracy at all for them. So uh, you had a, a lot of different bureaucracies who were providing their own personnel. And you also had uh, camps and ghettos that were run by states aligned with uh, Nazi Germany, like uh, Hungary and Romania and Italy and Vichy France. Um, obviously, they were creating, uh, they were providing their own personnel. And there were a lot of collaborators involved in Eastern Europe that has to be added. Um, not just the Germans, but other local inhabitants were recruited by the Germans and they guarded many of the camps.